Hey everybody, welcome, surprise, surprise, um, I think I would pop on, oh, okay, I figured I would pop on and do a quick live, um, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this painting, so I am going to take a moment, I'm going to share it out um, onto my main page, if you're jumping on, please say hi, let me know where you're watching from, um, feel free to, f to share this out. <clears throat> so let me see if I can get it to, there I am. All right. So I'm going to share now and all right, I'm going to turn my volume down. So I've got my phone over here so that I can see the comments and, um, yeah, we're going to do something with this. So, um, this was kind of like an impromptu. I came down, I set up, and I'm like, yeah, do I, don't, I might ask that, but then I'm going to go live. So, here I am. <laughs> so, hopefully, you guys all had a fantastic Thanksgiving. I know I did. Um, all right, let me just move this. Let me fix the camera here back. All right. So I have a new setup for my paints. So this is the first time that I've actually done a canvas painting since I've set up my new cart. So I've just been dying to, to take it out and play with it. So as I've been doing uh, Christmas ornaments, as you guys know, um, I've been posting those. All right, so let's get some sky in here. God, it has been forever since I have um, done a canvas, it seems like. So I do want to get this top covered. So I do have um, one of my paintings up for auction. It's on my page. Um, I had one last week and that sold. So, hey Anne, hey Charlene, welcome guys. So I'm just trying to move a little bit of my inventory. Um, so that I can make room for more. Um, because I've just um, signed up. I'm going to be at, um, we have what they call old um, Waterboro Old Home Days in um, July. So I am going to be part of that this year. So I want to have some new new content to bring plus the art walk is going to start back up in the spring so I just I just wanted to move a little bit of stuff to kind of make room and at the same time gives everybody a chance to get something at a much cheaper cost Did you guys have a nice Thanksgiving? I know I did. It was really nice having everybody here together. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to bring this blue right down through the bottom because I think this is going to be a snow scene. We'll see. I might just make a mess. Who knows? It's been a dog's age. <laughs> so I wanted to go live on my makeup page today, but I ended up having to bring the uh, my last auction painting. I had to meet the woman to deliver it. So I figured that was a little bit more important than doing a live but I will be live on my makeup page tomorrow ladies so if you guys um, 
I'm going to shoot for between one and two. Um, all right, so let's just deepen this a little bit on this side. I'm going to probably put in um, a few loose clouds. up in the sky and then these dark the ones that were darker in the front I'm going to bring them back into the front in a minute so let's see <clears throat> I don't want some big, big clouds, but I want something up there. Kind of more like drifty. <clears throat> All right, let me blend that out and see what that looks like. Off yeah yeah that looks pretty good some are a little brighter some are a little more more distant that is fine all right so let me <clears throat> I'm gonna start with this brush I don't know if I'm going to um, continue with this brush though kind of good. All right. That's working. Just have a little one here. And then I'm going to bring this one in front of And I apologize for the racket. I forgot to shut my my Roomba off before I came down and it's it's going so Alright. So let's do a couple over here. So there's just enough blue in that background color. Um to kind of give it that snow effect. look pretty good. All right, so let me just bring a little bit of ground underneath. So we're going to have some floating trees and we don't want floating trees. 
Alright, so this side I want flat. This side is going to kind of be like coming down the hill, kind of. Um, Alright, I'm going to, let me see if... So I want a road um, kind of like disappearing off behind. I'm going to put some more trees in here, but um, let's see. this in and then I'm going to go back in with some um, dark and kind of make like tire tracks. I've never done this so this could be an epic fail. Who knows? some little distant snowy trees but I wanted to fill this bottom in a little bit more It seems like every time I do one of these backgrounds with the trees, I end up covering it all over. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to 
trying to leave it this time. <laughs> I'm just kind of using this fan brush to kind of just kind of see where I want the land, how I want the land to go. Um, all right, I guess this one's going to have to start coming down here. So basically, your layer of land is whichever way you put your brush strokes. Um, all right, so that's kind of looking kind of wintry. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do down here yet, so we will see. <laughs> Just some white here. looking like looking like a rod a rod all right so let me
All right, let's take some white. Then I can put something in there. I'm going to get a little bit of snow in the back here. So I just, just changed the lay of the land. <laughs> Shake a button. Hey, Karen, welcome. <clears throat> Get my Peter bucket here. some of the, the darker blue. I'm going to mix a little bit of red in it to really deepen it. <clears throat> and we are going to put Start with that.
Alright, I guess like I didn't make enough. Let's mix up some more. So I'm just taking blue and red to give me that nice deep dark color. And I'm mad. I'm bad. I mix with my my brush, <laughs> so then my brush gets all gross. This one. up a little bit more because I want that bottom to be much darker. some white. I'm hoping that this white will stick. If not, I'll have to use the thinner. I'll have to thin this down a little bit. Yeah, let me thin it down just a smidge. Um, actually, let me get my... thin white. Hey Jody, hey Serena, welcome guys. God, you need muscles to get into this. <clears throat> Take a scoop and I'm going to mix it with my thicker white. And that should. Oh, yeah, much better.
Alright, so let's put a couple of small ones in the back. So those ones I'm going to use just straight blue without mixing it. two little ones here. Alright, put a little snow on these. I'm going to add more dark into this tree. wanted it to show up a little bit more. Um, let me see. Alright. Oh, I'm going to use a different brush.
All right. <clears throat> I'm thinking I'm going to put like a stick, like a dead tree right in here. And I'd like to try to put a cardinal in but I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that work <laughs> so <laughs> it's looking pretty good at a distance start with the tree and then we'll see um, I might just have to wipe some of the paint off to actually get the cardinal in but we'll see try to get a little bit more snow on before I start putting too much in front. I'm going to get a little bit a little bit brighter snow in some areas here. Not a ton, but So enough that you can, you know, tell that it's snowed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I just bought these, um, these squeeze things that go on these tubes, um, because like this one's getting really hard to, to squeeze, but I'm going to have to bring it up and have my husband put it on. <laughs> 
I don't think I'm going to be able to get it on. He's going to have to probably take a hammer and smush it. <laughs> All right, so let's get... And then I'll go back and I'll smooth that out. like that. That kind of looks like like a snowbank. Kind of like that snow is piled up there. Plus it gives a little bit of texture. Alright. Wow, this one's coming out really good, guys. Hey, Jenny! I know, it's coming out really good. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> when I sat down here, I was like, what am I going to do? Oh my God. Hey, Jess! I'm like, oh well. And then I, I sat here, do I hit the live? Do I hit the live? And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going live. 
So that's where we're at. <laughs> I haven't been live on this page for so long. I was actually nervous, guys. All right, so let's. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Don't want to ruin it. All right, wait a minute here. I got a vision. So if I do a tree, kind of right in there. I'm going for it, guys. I'm going for it. I'm scared, but I'm going for it. All right, let me mix up a dark brown here. I need alcohol. <laughs> I have a couple ideas and I want to paint some things, but I'm not going to tell you what they are yet. So, yeah, so I'm done. Until I'm done. Oh, well, cool. I can't wait, John. All right, so, let's see. We'll bring them... Um, here. Let me just kind of place my tree. Well, that looks okay. Because <laughs> <clears throat> I want to put a red cardinal in. I might have to wait until it dries, though. I don't know. Um... I'm only going to put a few on with the palette knife, and then I'll probably put some skinnier ones. Um, with um, the small brush. Oh, 
this tree is looking so cool. So this is probably going to take a good week for this to dry, for this tree to dry. Easy. <coughs> All right, and then we got to put... Let me take right, I'm going to thin some of this down. And if you don't have a steady hand, that works really good for tree limbs. You just want to make sure that your limbs going into your tree are a little bit wider than the outside. I guess I'm, I'm going to have to bring this tree down a little bit. Um, I 
All right. So let me. Now I've got to put some, <coughs> got to put some snow on this bad boy. Um, so and there's really no like light source. So um, We would definitely have some snow in the, the crooks of the tree.
Alright. So I'm gonna put Let's mix up some more of our our blue and our red to get a really dark blue. All right, some more white. <clears throat> I really, really, really want to put a cardinal, but I'm scared, scared, scared. <laughs> oh. You need something? No, oh, it's just gonna rob your fabrics. Oh! <laughs> How's your paint, though? Good. 
good. Man. I actually checked it up like an hour ago. Oh, you did? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm going to say hi to them there or something. And I'm like, oh, she's alive, so I like snuck back upstairs. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? My, my critiquer is down here. I'm, cu I'm curious of why it's so blue. Because it's blue. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> no. I don't know if it's where. I mean, like... that. It's a road. That's where it's darker going in. Yeah. This blue is the shadow color of snow. Just with the whole painting idea. So that makes sense. Yeah. I want to put a cardinal, but I'm scared. I think you did. Um, real... What squares can be said? Can I... <laughs> Real D A M N good. Real damn good. Okay. Real damn. Okay, so damn. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> it was real. I love. Cause I, you can clearly tell it's a road. <laughs> I love when you just like pause. Like. I I don't know where I. I got carried away in my branches. A little bird. I know. That's what I was thinking right there. A little bird. A little tiny one. All right. I need no it. No details. Just like a bear shape of a bird. Yeah. You definitely need to like wipe your. <laughs> what? You think I need to wipe my hands? <laughs> <laughs> Turning into a smurf, my man. I'm a smurf. Oh God. All right. So. Let me, <laughs> I'm going to use the back of this so I don't, Auntie says she loves you, Lex. Love you, Auntie. She said she loves you. All right. Um, Oh, that's a really good shape of a bird. <laughs> it's going to be the back of the bird. I'm going to try, Jenny. I'm going to try. All right. Let me take a... Let me find a smaller brush that I can actually lift as much of this paint as possible. Huh? Love you. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be do or die. So worst case scenario, I can't get the full, like color of the bird. I can let this dry even a day or two, and then I can come back in, and, like go back over the bird. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my damnedest to try to get this in.
than it. I gotta move this for a second, guys, so I can. know if I have a light cadmium color. Ouch. Hang on. Oh yeah, I got a brilliant red. <laughs> I got the brilliant red. thin some of this red down so that it will stick on top of that thicker red, hopefully. Athena, hey, Tanya, welcome, guys. <clears throat> so this is a little trick when you're painting in oil and you need, you want to be able to layer it quicker. Um, you just got to kind of like let it soak up the oils a little bit. Um, let's try that. Alright, I think that's about as good as we're going to get the bird until he dries, um, but I've got to get his little um, whoop-de-doos on his head.
All right. So I'm going to take some yellow and some red. And we're going to make kind of like a orangey. Pop a little white in there. What do you think, guys? Hey, Cynthia. Is it close to looking like a cardinal? <laughs> He's kind of at an angle. Um, let me get a smaller. What do you think, guys? I probably am going to have to, um, once it dries, if I can, let me see if I can get this red to stick. So it does look like a cardinal. And the way he's sitting, you're not going to see his feet because he's kind of like at an angle with his head turned. So, um,
All right, now I'm gonna put his eye back in. All right, guys. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop messing with him because I don't want to screw him up because he's kind of cute. Um, so I can always add some highlights to him once this dries. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I don't know. I think it looks good the way it is. What do you guys think? Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. So what do you guys think? <laughs> It's perfect the way it is. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. So I am going to call it. I am going to sign it. Um, and I'm going to sign it in red just because there's not a lot of red in this painting. Um, I, I just, I wanted that little pop of color. So I'm... I'm going to sign it on the left. Let me just lock this down. This painting will be for sale. Um, like I said, it's going to probably take a good week for um, the tree, especially the tree um, in the white snow to really dry. But this one will be for sale. Um, if you anybody's interested, just message me. All right, so let me thin some of this down. So that I can... And I will show you um, on another one what they... Once they're dry, um, I, they're varnished, and they're, I sign the back, and I put a hook on them. Um, on the front, I just put my first three initials to my last name. I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. I just decided last minute and I was like, ah, everybody's probably busy and go. She is signed. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, this is this is my first bird in oils, guys. So, you witnessed it here first. This is the very first um, bird in oil. <laughs> Alright. So, let me I am impressed with this one. I am, Every now and then, I impress myself. And when I'm happy with the painting, when I'm done, that's very rare. Because I'm so, so hard on myself. And I'll be like, oh, I'll, I'll tell my daughter, I'm not bringing that to a show because that didn't come out good. And she's like, Mom, bring it. She goes, just because you don't like it doesn't mean somebody else. And, you know, 90% of the time, that's the first painting that sells. So, I've learned now that just, it is what it is when I'm done. And if I don't like it, oh well. <laughs> I sell them cheaper. <laughs> so, and this one didn't take too long. Um, 
<clears throat> so it's only 9.30. <clears throat> so I think this one took me about an hour and a half. And I did good because I left my shadow trees in the background where I usually end up covering over all of them. And... Alright. So my husband's going to be happy. I used... My cart that he got me um, to do a, an actual canvas because I've only been doing um, the balls. But let me show you before I forget because um, I'm good for that. You know, it's what happens when you get old. So when I sell a painting, like this one is all varnished. This is the one that is up for auction right now. Um, the starting bid is $40. Nobody's bid on it. So if somebody wants it, put $40 and you can get it for 40 bucks. But on the back, they, they have this hook and they are signed original and the year that it was done. Like this one is called Winter Aurora. So if you guys can help me think of a name for that, this painting, while I clean up, one of you guys could name this painting. So, I'll stay alive for a little bit while I'm cleaning up, and if you guys have any questions, um, I will try to answer them. Yeah, I absolutely love the way you did your trees. Absolutely perfect. I love the distant shadow trees for sure. Thank you, Jenny. I'm impressed with my, my big tree, um, and I tried to add the different layers to give the painting depth. Um, and like I said, I've only done a few like snow scenes. So when I, I started this, I, all I knew is I wanted a, a road going in. That was the only thing that I, I knew I wanted was a road. And I succeeded with that. So and then adding the bird, that was just a bonus. Um, <coughs> so I was impressed. I impressed myself, guys. <laughs> All right. So come up with a name, guys. Come on. I need a name for this painting. I am so bad when you you paint all the time after a while you start like running out of names um, so like the the one that just sold um, was it Saturday night yeah Saturday or Sunday yeah Saturday night the auction closed um, I was like, up to the last minute, I'm like, oh my God, I've got to give this painting a name. And so I ended up calling it, um, Deep in the Bayou. <laughs> the signs are always there. Should be the name of this. Yes, that's a good one. That is a good one. Anybody else got any ideas? So this is the worst part of the oil painting. It, it, I say it's the worst, but it's actually not because, um, like, if I decided, like, to go upstairs and have a coffee or whatever, I could come back down even tomorrow and clean it. But I, I try to do it every time um, that I paint. Not, I don't always, but I try. <laughs> All right, so. But it just makes it so easy that... 
I'm not having to dig through a bucket to find my paints. Um, they're always like out and about. I'm going to put this one on the top because I use that a lot too. Um, all right, so I'm probably going to paint tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop up my white. I'm going to put it over there. Um, I've got some yellow. I'm going to put that over there. I still have some red. So I'm going to put that over there. I'll put this red with that red. Um, because this paint I'll still be able to use if I go live tomorrow. Yeah. And then I can clean the rest of this up. So then when I come down, I have a palette that is ready to go. So the only thing we have to do on my cart is it only came with two wheels that spin instead of all four. So it's like for me to get it in this spot, because I normally keep it on the other wall, it was really, I had to like lift it up. So we're going to get the wheels um, for it, and then I'll have all four wheels that will turn. So, all right. All right, and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put that name right on the back of this painting once I get this done. Oops. Yeah, and don't run into the paint that you put aside because then you just make a mess, kind of like I just did. All right. <coughs> Alright, throw that away, semi-wipe my hands, <laughs> semi, and let me get my Sharpie, loved ones always guide you to a new path, oh geez, I don't know which one I like better. I think I'm going to go, loved ones will always guide you. I think I really like that. <clears throat> All right. Alrighty, so it is all signed. Once it is dried, I will get it varnished and um, the things put on the back and it will be ready to go. <laughs> Dig in the path and the bird. Yes, exactly like they're, they're waiting for you to come by. <clears throat> So if I would have wanted to, to turn, say, one of these trees into like a lit Christmas tree, I would definitely have to wait for it to dry because it would just be a nightmare, as you could see with the bird. Um, had I known in the beginning that I was going to put a bird there, I would have kept a spot with nothing, but I didn't know that. So I'm like... <laughs> You know, all I knew is I wanted a path. That was my only thing going into this. So thank you guys for hanging with me tonight. I really, really appreciate it. And um, 
Maybe I'll be live again tomorrow night. Um, let me see if I can turn this up just a smidge so I can at least see you to say goodbye. There we go. Um, so I might go live tomorrow night. I don't know. Um, you know, maybe it'll be like just more of a bigger tree with a bird on it, but I'll know ahead of time. Um, even if I have to paint it in acrylics first so that I know exactly, okay, here's my bird, here's my tree. So then I can do my oil painting around it and then go over with the oil. So that's another option. So, um, it's just going to depend on what I've got going on. So just stay tuned. There could be another pop up live tomorrow night, guys. Alrighty, thank you guys for hanging with me tonight. I really appreciate it. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye-bye.